Y'all, after years of trying and failing, Car Ant officially has a home. What's up everybody, my name is Nick Lanza. Welcome to this episode of Car Rant. And if you're new around here, we do builds, reviews, and have candid conversations about cars. But today, we wanna kinda give you a behind the scenes look of what's been going on. We've not been consistent with our uploads lately and I do wanna apologize as this is my channel. Never really put out reason why until well after it already happened. Huge shout out to John for coming in clutch and helping make a couple of videos. That way all I had to do was edit and I could focus my efforts on moving into this space because this is my bedroom, but also being able to just kind of get stuff set up so that car rent can start afresh here at our new place out here in the country. And let me show you around this house a little bit because I'm really excited at what car rent can do in this space in addition to our little company that we made called the uh, Foreign Import Parks Company. You might have seen it in the description or heard about it. This is Casa de Lanza, my new-to-me home. Built in 1945, this house has had several additions added on over the years, including things like air conditioning, which didn't exist in the home natively, and water treatment, because it has a well tucked right next to a railroad track. And while, as you can tell, we are still definitely in the process of moving in and getting settled in, this place already feels like home. And, more importantly than anything else, it already has a garage on the property. Looks like someone's enjoying the floor. <laughs> what do you think, Bubba? You like the garage? Yeah? You like a new hangout spot? You'll be able to hang out in this one for real. Now we're inside the garage. As you can tell, it's a little bit dark on this side. There's great windows right here that provide great visibility, which is awesome for us because we want to be able to have good lighting. We want to have an interesting, nice background. But also there's a train right there. So it makes for an interesting time because you get to watch the train go by while we're working on cars. It's kind of a cool little spot. Basically half of this space will be used for the parts business so we'll be able to see some really cool stuff that we get from Japan, Germany, France, England, all that kind of stuff is going to end up over here. And of course the other bay will be used for us in car rent to do whatever our hearts desire. The building has good bones but it could use a few upgrades here and there, especially with things like the lighting and of course, this very archaic electrical system. We're really looking forward to some of the crazy stuff that we're gonna get up to in this space as we plan to be here for many, many years. I think the thing that I love most about this place is that it's quiet, we have sounds of nature, Sure, this car is on that road, but it's really not bad. You know, this is my place. My place of then, peace and solitude. I'm able to come outside and relax. I don't have to worry about what that neighbor's doing, what that neighbor's doing. I'm able to be with nature, as you can hear by the cicadas, because it is the end of the season. But I'm also here with my dog you know, my friends and family that come by to visit. So, I really, I just, I love it. It's my fortress of solitude, even though I'm two miles from the middle of town. In time, obviously, you know, we'll have more done to this place. In fact, where I'm sitting right now will probably eventually be a wraparound porch that goes that way. You know, it, I want to make this home into our forever place. And... While I want to make this into our forever place, I'm also aware that Car Ranch and Tipco will both get bigger as time goes on. Believe it or not, Car Ranch has been on the air now for seven years. Uh, yeah, it's time for us to start getting bigger with our ambitions, bigger as a business, but also with Tipco being really where my money focus is at. 
I want to see that company grow, which means that eventually we will have our own dedicated warehouse space. In the future, where that's going to be at, it's hard to say. For right now, I'm parked squarely in the middle of Clark County, and I'm okay with that. And as a cool little spoiler, I was going to give you an update about where some of our projects are and where some of our prodigals are. And as you can see, it's not in focus entirely, but yeah, we're bringing back the Death Wish Metruck. Ian is now the owner of it, and he's had it for a while, but we never changed titles or anything. That all happened when I moved out of that one apartment complex. But now that we've got a place of our own, a place to just take stuff apart and not have to worry about putting it back together because, oh no, we might have to move out again. Uh, yeah, that thing's gonna get completely rebuilt. The Mighty Max, as you can see in the corner, is also going to get rebuilt. The Pajero. I finally got contacted back by Chaos. All the parts finally showed up. They built a custom harness for this thing. That means that the Pajero is not only going to run better than it did before, it's going to be healthier, and possibly might be able to start taking floor. So that's cool, fine. They're going to be doing some computer work to make sure that all the electrical functions still function the way they did at OEM. And we're looking forward to hopefully being able to use it this fall to go on another off-road camping adventure. Something I've been looking forward to doing ever since we attempted to resurrect this thing last year. Bringing the Pajero back is something I've been looking forward to for a really long time. And frankly, I want to go take that thing out with a stick as soon as I get it back and do another camping adventure because I loved it the last time we did it. And I know Merlin, who's off screen chilling on the grass, also enjoyed it thoroughly. Goal 240 is going to be finished up here shortly, so we can finally do our first like test fire videos and things like that. There was so much that was going on towards the tail end of last year, throughout the entirety of this year, 2023, that it was just really hard for us to try and keep up with that build. So unfortunately, we had gotten through so much and then had to stop because of the rat. Now that the rat's been taken care of, we need to actually have the time to go back and take care of it. As I alluded to earlier, Ian 240 with the bean swap will also be making itself known here very shortly. There's not a ton left with that car to get it running, but of course Ian wants to go the nine mile with it and make sure that everything on that scooter, scooter everything on that 240, that S chassis, is up to snuff for his name. So we'll see what happens with that. But with that said, I hope you guys are as excited as we are. Our very first house and it's one that has automotive stuff in mind. It doesn't get better than that. And I'm very, very much thankful to everyone that helped me out. I mean, quite literally, we almost didn't get this house because stuff just wasn't lining up. And at the very last second, with midnight hour as it were, we were finally able to get the funding we needed so we could go ahead and get this place. So without further ado, huge shout out and thanks to all of you. And to many supporters that we've had over the years. Second God and Jesus to this place. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.